and then that's when I got the idea. If we're going back to the street art story, like I got the idea. Okay, if I do do street art, it would it would be word based. I immediately saw the image of a typewriter, and then, like I said, I thought I would do stickers. So I thought it would just be the typewriter with the words floating above it. Mm. But the moment I realized the typewriter could be painted and the page could be pasted, oh, which yeah. which combines the two most you know popular awesome. methods of street art. Um, I thought it was cool, but I had to Google if anybody had done it before. Yeah. And I did. I was. I did extensive research. However, you do research and uh, like googling. <laughs> but when I discovered that nobody had done that, that's when I just forgot all about my fear and was like, "Wait, I want to mark my territory with this idea." Yeah. So inside of a week, I was scattering pieces and and. What was the first piece that you did? You remember? I do. I, I definitely do. Um, it was a couple blocks from my place. It was across the street from a pawn shop, and the words were, "There's nothing sadder in the world than a pawn shop in Hollywood." <laughs> Which <laughs> sounds awesome. it doesn't sound really wordsmithy like of today, but it but it is. It's just a creative way of saying don't give up on your dreams. You know yeah. what I mean? But it was like I was being poetic. You know what I mean? And from the get go. So when you were doing uh, that, that deep, first man, piece, I didn't get that at first. I'm just saying, but no, I mean initially just yeah. like I said because no, I've, I've been to Hollywood pawn shops, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sad <places. laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's like a bunch of yeah. stolen shit. Like, but that's also part of the thing. Like I realized that message right there was a little too removed from the the moment of realization. What time of yeah. day did you put that piece up? Uh, it was like it was like 10, 11 o'clock at night. And and um and and I was doing that for a while. Did you have a lookout? No. I was on my own for the first couple of times and and it, it, I switched it up really quickly because I didn't like it. Like there was just traffic coming, there were people, there were, people were drunk and and like from So the, you would go out at like ten o'clock at night. Ten, eleven, twelve o'clock at night. Oh my yeah. God, yeah. Dude, that's a it, lot of people we, around during yeah, that time. Yeah, but but very quickly, I think it was like maybe a week or two weeks, I started um going out in the mornings. And I'm a, I'm an early riser. Like I've been morning up, what time? Well I, I, I get I for years I've been getting up like six o'clock. Like I just I love morning I love coffee I like that whole routine so I started getting up at like four four thirty oh. and going out for for like an hour oh. or two but but that was awesome because coffee the before city, you go out or after? no after oh. like like the adrenaline the <laughs> adrenaline <laughs> rush of the <laughs> adrenaline <laughs> rush of doing pieces was enough okay okay, okay. Um, so I would go out and and this was still on my own for the longest time and uh, or or just for 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 a long time. And uh, but 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 it worked. Like the city was quiet. I could hear things or see things coming. And and I just I, I started just putting pieces everywhere. And and here's the crazy thing about my story is, I started doing it for me. I, I told you I needed the active hobby. I never expected to make a dime. I didn't know if it, I would even be noticed. Um, but really early on, like I documented everything and Instagram was was just kind of taking yeah, off. Yeah. And I started the Instagram, you know, from the get go because I wanted to document all the pieces. That's so and then smart. really early on, I started seeing that the words were resonating. Yeah. Like I think about it now and and well, there's a couple things like I started the whole thing saying I want to say things to people in Los Angeles that I wish they would have said to me when I first got here. Ooh. So there was a lot of nice. Hollywood focused and dream focused and Los Angeles focused. But when the words started resonating, it wasn't just in Los Angeles. It was in all these different areas and cities and across the country. I realized that it's not just about Los Angeles. Like everybody everywhere has a dream and these words mean something. And that was incredible. Like, like again, I never expected the, the the notoriety. I never expected to make a dime. But when I saw that, you know, the words were resonating, people were um, hashtagging it and reposting it and taking their own pictures. I was like, wow, this, this is, is a no brainer. This is incredible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 